So the quicksort algorithm is a really useful general purpose algorithm that's um, used to sort all kinds of different things. If you're using standard libraries in Perl or Python or the C standard library, C++ standard library, the sort method in Java, they all use the quicksort algorithm. It's a very robust sort um, for any kind a variable, as we've seen, um, for any kind of number. Generally, the quicksort algorithm, as we've seen, ha approaches big O of n log n complexity, because we take a pivot point, we move the smaller things to the left and the bigger things to the right. And when we do that, we don't compare those small things to those big things. And so we're only comparing e some things to half the data and then half the data, and then half the data. And that's what gives us that log n value in our n log n complexity. However, what's going to happen if when I'm doing my quick sort, I choose my pivot to be the number two? Now I move the smaller things to the left and the larger things to the right. So now I end up with my two on the left and everything larger on the right. Now what happens if I choose my number three as my pivot point? I move the smaller things to the left, the larger things to the right. So in the first case, I'm doing n minus 1 comparisons, and then I'm doing n minus 2 comparisons, and then n minus 3 comparisons, and then n minus 4 comparisons, and so on. And so in the worst case, quicksort will degrade to a big O of n squared complexity. 